my voice is a little better. The staged moon landing was July 20th, which is the 201st day of the year in 1969. Neil Alden Armstrong equals 201 in Gematria. So does Houston, we have a problem. So does Apollo, the rocket that took Neil Alden Armstrong to the moon. Neil A backwards is alien because 201, they use it for their hoaxes. The Jesuit order 201 based off the fictitious Jesus. He was not a historical real person of the Roman period. It's a fictitious government with fictitious money and policies. In fact, the Pope, Pope is called Vicarious Philly Day. And this is, it equals to 666 in Gematria. The Bible says, beware of 666, it is the mark of the beast. Yeah, because the Pope is the next in line since Jesus isn't here. The Pope is the vice or representative of the Son of God. Philly or Phileas means son, day means God, vicarious means vice. Vice or representative of the Son of God. So until Jesus gets back, the Son of God, the Pope is the ruler of the world until Jesus gets back. So it's all fictitious because Jesus will, will never come back. Event 201 is the coronavirus simulation at Johns Hopkins University, hosted by Bill Gates, October 2019. Event 201. What is event 2001, September 11th? You're allowed to add or remove zeros because they, they don't mean anything. So from 1968 to 2001, this was the building of the Twin Towers. The first tower was the North Tower, constructed in 1968. So the Twin Towers began 1968 and ended in 2001, which is 33 years of life. From two towers to zero towers to one tower, that's the 201. George Perry Floyd is also 201. He was a Freemason. Mason means Mary's son. And the reason they have a G at the center is because that G is the seventh letter, and it's the 33rd letter. Because if there's 26 letters in the alphabet, if you go A to Z, it's 26. And go back to G, 26 plus 7 is 33. So that's why they also have a 33 at the center, because there's 33 rungs of the ladder to get to the top, 33 vertebrae in your spine to get to the top, the pineal gland. Jesus, Mary's son, he became one with God when he died at 33. So after 33 years, these two towers become one with God, like Jesus did. The Masonic logo is a compass that makes a circle and a ruler which makes a square. If the diameter of the circle is 14 and the length of the square is 11, that's how you square the circle. That's why the pyramid in Egypt has a height of 7 and a base of 11, like this. See, the pyramid is right in here. It's what connects the square to the circle. And you must connect both of them, masculine and feminine. That's what divinity is. It's the combination of masculine and feminine. That's why this logo, or it's the Merkaba, which is Mercury Caduceus Balance. It's Mercury Caduceus Balance. The two masculine elements are fire and air. The two feminine are earth and water. That's what the checkerboard or chessboard in masonry is. It's spirit and matter. So you have the two masculine elements here and the two feminine here. Masculine elements are above. They're pointing up. That's fire and air. Above the earth is the sun and the oxygen. Below the earth is the ocean and the, and the ocean floor. That's earth and water. So below is these two pointing down and above is these two. So there you have it. Now, even the Statue of Liberty has a seven-pointed star on the crown and an 11-pointed star on the base. That's 711. This was made in the 1880s. So even since then, September 11th was going to happen because it's sept, sept is seven, not nine. Even though this is 911, it's sept 11. So 711 is needed to square the circle here. That's why the pyramid has that geometry. The Statue of Liberty is a hermaphrodite, which is Hermes and Aphrodite, which is Mercury and Venus. It's holding a light. This is the light bearer, just as Mercury and Venus are. At 5 a.m. before the sun rises, Mercury and Venus are said to be circling the sun. If you have the solar system, they say it's Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, then Mars. So the, first, the closest ones is Mercury and Venus. So at 6 a.m. you'll see the sun, but you'll see these two stars. 5 a.m. you won't see the sun, but you'll see these two stars. This is according to the equinox, 
where the sun rises at 6. So obviously it hasn't risen at 5. But that's why these are the morning star, Lucifer, the bright morning star, because they're bright. The brightest thing you see in the sky. And the it's blue morning, you know, dark blue, because the sun's barely about to poke through with some rays. And you see these lights here. So it's just about enlightenment and see how the these stars are on top of the sun it's like the torch is on top of the head this is the head this is you're basically bringing your energy from the bottom see stepping on the chains is like virgin mary stepping on the snake you have to turn the ego into an eagle and that's how the the serpents grow up to get their wings on the caduceus caduceus is fall of zeus it's cad of zeus the fall of zeus one goes down one goes up the snakes one goes down one goes up pretty much like baphomet he has the caduceus here he's pointing up and down you have the negative energy and the positive energy because he's on the earth he's he's sitting on the earth with all the you know equator so this is the square bottom earth up to spirit up here. There's a there's an upside down pentagram in his crown. And it just means earth, air, fire, water, just like the pyramid, earth, air, fire, water, spirit. The pyramid was not called pyramid in Egypt, it was called Mer, place of ascendance. It's where you could bring the four elements up to spirit. Coagula is gravitation, it's coagulation. Solve is radiation dissolving, so it spreads. So dielectricity, the father, is negative. The mother is magnetism. This is the attracting force, father. Repelling force, mother. Repelling and attracting for rest against motion is red and blue. If this is negative and this is positive, electricity is positive and negative. You can't see these two, but you can see this. All physicality is sustained by motion. It's, it's the dance or the dynamic fight between positive and negative. This would be Isis. The moon gravitates. The moon, la luna, it's a female. La luna, L is left turning, blue shift. Ra, the sun is right turning in its radiation and its red shift. So left, blue turning, la luna, woman. This is masculine, Ra, the sun. So you basically have Isis and Osiris, actually. And they produce Horus. Osiris and Isis are brother and sister. They're brother and sister, but they're also husband and wife. So... Isis and Osiris, see the moon gravitates, the sun radiates. Osiris and Isis together produce Horus, the sun, which is redshift, blue shift. It creates the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. So redshift, blue shift. This is your electromagnetic field. It's just telling you to bring your energy up to the crown to become illuminated. The crown, the torch on fire, is light in the mind. This is light, this is the mind. What is enlightenment? It's enlightenment, light in the mind. Enlightenment is wealth. It's wisdom and health. Wisdom and health is wealth. See your heart. Arteries go away. This is positive radiation. Veins go to gravitation. Your heart, your core of your body is doing what the core of the Milky Way, the galaxy, and each of your atoms is doing. So this is a circle, right? It's away. And two, this is the yin and yang. One swirl is going down, one swirl is going up. We are split up between ourselves, so we must marry the self to come to the heart chakra. And you can't go to the father except through me, says Jesus. You must go to the heart to get to the crown. Wealth is the holy grail because this is where you reach enlightenment. It's, it's pure positivity. There's no negativity because if you come to love, you forgive all your enemies. There's no negativity. There's no anger or hatred, or fear, none of that. It's all gone. Up here is just love, intelligence, creativity, power, energy. So it's it's true wisdom and health. Holy Grail, Fountain of Youth, the Elixir of Life, the Cup of Christ, the Ark of the Covenant, the Mercy Seat, where you talk to God between the two cherubim, which is the two hemispheres of the cerebrum. It's the Philosopher's Stone. Combining the positive and negative energies where this caduceus comes from, why we use it as a hospital symbol is because Moses tells the Hebrews to stare at this bronze snake that he made. And they were bit by snakes, so if they stare at the snake, they can be healed. 
that which kills you is that which can heal you. It comes out of Egypt. In Abydos, Egypt, the temple of Seti I, he is getting healed when Thoth tells him to stare at these serpents. One has the crown of Lower Egypt, one has the crown of Upper Egypt. This is basically Osiris and Isis, male and female again. Red and white candy cane. These weren't literal people. Thoth didn't come down and say, oh, you're sick, you need to stare at these snakes. This is your higher mind telling you, see, thought has to do with the mind. The universe is mental. This is your body. Your, bo your mind is telling your body because the only way to connect your body to source, which is the heavens, which is peak perception, heaven is a state of mind, to get your body to hear, it's through the mind. So the, the body, heaven, and it's the mind, which is the triangle that connects this square to this circle. So raise your frequency up to the eye level. Just raise your frequency up to the eyes, and that's how you get the wings. That's all it is. He said, stare at the bronze serpent and you'll live. Well, look, bronze is made using tin and copper. Jupiter is this symbol. Venus is this symbol. This is Zeus and Aphrodite, just like Hermes and Aphrodite. Just like this guy. He's a, he's a hermaphrodite. He's Hermes and Aphrodite. He literally has the Hermes caduceus staff, and he has Aphrodite's pentagram, because that's Venus. V-E-N-U-S. Zeus would be like action and conquer. This one is compromise. It should be uh, Aries and Venus, but, you know, like your heart. Aries and Venus. Your arteries is Aries. Your veins is Venus. Basically, Alpha and Omega. So when you put together the Alpha and the Omega, then you get here. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. He's the heart chakra. The, there, the Bible says there were Nephilim in those days. These are the fallen ones. When the sons of God mingled with the daughters of men. Why are there sons of God? Isn't God a man? And why did his why are all the men coming down to the women below? Is there not a, a goddess? Why didn't the daughters of the goddess mingle with the sons of women? Why is it saying that the sons, which is boy, of God, which is man, mingle with the daughters, which is feminine of men, which are below? See, God is above, which is a masculine, and men are below on earth, which is earth and water are feminine where in the sky is heaven, which is the stars in the air, is masculine. So the sons of God just means these two elements mingled with these two elements to make this. That's it, guys.